Here's an interesting Neville Goddard quote. If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. That means that the more you react to the circumstances in your 3D, the more you allow yourself to be triggered, the more you complain about the things you don't want, they will keep happening. You will reinforce the evidence of your senses. You take that evidence of your senses and cement it. Those are manifestations that are happening. And if you're feeding your subconscious, this is true. The, the way you feed your subconscious, the idea that something is true, is real, is by reacting to it. By being triggered by it, by complaining about it. Really by doing anything. I mean, to celebrate it and, and be uh, enamored with it would, would also work, right? But you're not going to do that to things you don't like. So, you know, if you really if you really like something, you react to it that way, and that, that would be something you want to stick around. But something that you don't want, you, you don't want to judge it. You don't want to react to it. You don't want to be triggered by it. You don't want to complain about it. You don't want to be upset by it, visibly upset, cry over it, uh, carry on over it, complain to other people about it, reiterate it over and over, write it on forum posts, write it on social media. You're just scripting it into, you're, you're etching it in stone by doing that. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. And especially if you just want to, you're looking for help, right? And, and you want to express that. You, you want to express, you want to explain it to people so that they know what's bothering you. But at the same time, you're writing it down, you're scripting it, you're, you're writing it, you're scripting it, right? And you're cementing it even further, the more you complain about it. I can't tell you how many times on social media, I, if something in my 3D is bothering me and I want to express it to others, I just, I stay disciplined and I, I don't because I know, I know that I'm making it stick around longer by complaining about it, by explaining it to others, by spelling it out and scripting it, right? When you type on the, if you're scripting it, same as if you do it longhand. Scripting in a journal versus typing in a computer, it's the same thing, really. So, and, and this is this is the discipline. This is where you have to keep the faith and be disciplined. And, and this is where affirmations work, too, right? Because if you're affirming for something you don't see the evidence of, you're, 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 you're telling your subconscious it's real. You are... That is a substitute in a way for living in the end. That is like living in the end. That's why a lot of people have uh, success with the affirmations. At first, I didn't understand it. Then I realized, you know, I, I used to I used to go around being very negative about certain things, and I would I would always say, you know, I, I would state what I feared would happen about something. My, my logical mind thing. And I still catch my doing, myself doing it occasionally. I, I like to think I don't do it as much as I used to. This takes discipline and practice. It doesn't, happen over, it doesn't necessarily happen overnight. Maybe my expectation is that it doesn't happen overnight, and therefore, for me, it doesn't. But, you know, my, 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 my belief, at least now, is that for most people, it would take some practice. So... And I guess I could work on that, right? But I would say it and then tell whoever I was talking to, it's only words. It's not like my words are going to make it happen. Huh. You couldn't be further from the truth there. Of course your words are going to make it happen and cement it into place or whatever. You know, that's what, you know, again. 
but you do know. That when you say it, you judge it. You're judging it after appearances. And what I just talked about is judging it before appearances, which is even worse. You're judging it before it even happens. You're expecting the worst. You're expecting something bad to happen. How many times do you expect something bad to happen? Something the same or worse happens. Not always, thankfully, but many times in my experience. So don't judge after appearances. And again, as far as the affirmations go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug affirmations to a certain degree because I think they would help a lot of people. If you positively judge through an affirmation before appearances, I mean, that doesn't it, doesn't it, doesn't, isn't this logical? If you are going are, are gonna to complain and say bad stuff or expect the worst, and then it happens, would it make sense to expect the best and that can happen? Would it be great to be able to say, I'm going to say these words that are positive, uplifting, something I want to happen, and expect that they will come to pass? It doesn't just go one way. It can work both ways. So you may as well do it in the way that it's going to benefit you. So don't judge after appearances and don't judge negatively before appearances. Judge positively before appearances <laughs> through affirmations. And, of course, through the visualizations and live in the end. Anything that works. But you don't want to be con you don't want to continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses by reacting to the 3D by being triggered by the 3D by complaining about things that are happening in your 3D to anyone who will listen. There's really no one out there in a certain way, right? Everybody's you pushed out. So who are you complaining to? You're complaining to yourself. Nip that in the bud. You know, Neville Goddard would, would talk about if you listen to his lectures. Um. People who, you know, they'd have these, these 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 arguments in their head with people about things, and he just telling people, don't do that, don't do that. If you're arguing with someone in your head, you're you're going to, you're going to argue with them in real life. You're going to create all this negative. It's going to reflect back to you through that person, like your boss or whoever. And they would say, hold on, hold on, you know, I just. I just want to tell him off or set him off one more time. It feels so good to do that. And he's like, well, you know, it may feel good in the moment, but you're going to have to reap that harvest. And, and you don't really want to do that. So nip it in the bud. Don't spend another second doing that. This is all the same stuff. Neville talked about this all the time. Go listen to the lectures. Look in my, my video list. I've got lots of his lectures where he talks about this stuff. So, this quote is wonderful. If you judge after appearances, you will, be, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. So don't do that. You know, I once had a, a doctor when I was a young man in my 20s. I would, I, I would, I, would I, I, I told him something that was bothering me. Like, He's like, so when you do when you do that, you don't you don't like how that feels or something like that. And he he would put on his Groucho Marx voice and say, then don't do that, <laughs> you know, then don't do that. So anyway, uh, I hope this is useful to someone. Someone needed to hear this, and uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.